I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters in the Elmer Team. Today, sharing a few tips on selling real estate in probate or trust. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer, and thank you so much for watching. Over the last 20 years, I have spent a lot of time selling properties in trust or probate. And I wanted to share a few things that I thought were really important to know when selling a home that is in probate situation or trust sale. Frankly, being in charge of administering an estate can be a lot of work and a thankless job at best. There are a lot of things to navigate and you receive no training in this. You have to jump through a lot of hoops and generally it's a time of grieving as well. Hiring the right probate or trust attorney and hiring the right real estate agent can make a world of difference. A professional agent like myself will have a team of vendors that can provide repairs, inspection, estate sales services, and cleanup services. Tip number one is estate sales attract bargain hunters. Probate filings are public record, so administrators quickly are going to realize that they become the target of these bargain hunters, be it phone calls from savvy investors, cash buyers, or neighbors who want to get the house at a discount. They offer cash with a quick close, and many times will come back after the fact and try to renegotiate when they find new issues. Be careful about selling the property at a discount like this. As an administrator, there's a fiduciary duty to the beneficiaries to sell the home at the highest dollar value. Remember, the property will get the highest value by putting it on the open market. Tip number two, securing the property and its contents. Once the word gets out that someone has passed, it opens up risk from caregivers, roommates, relatives, or friends who've had access to the house, and they often have been known to steal personal property. If you have a trustworthy neighbor who can help, it can be great to have local eyes on the house. Having an alarm or a camera system can also be useful and changing the locks. You want to avoid any new squatters that could be a problem to remove. Tip number three, tenant or family members in the home. If someone is currently living in the property like a roommate or a family member, it can be a good idea to have them start the process of moving. At the very least, getting an agreement in writing of what will happen with the tenant, family member, or friend. With tenants, if a lease agreement existed before, it does have to be honored, and sometimes it can be difficult to locate those leases. Tip number four, check for liens against a property. An experienced agent like myself will pull a preliminary title report to see if there are any liens on the property. Many times, estates find that there are bills that are delinquent when they are finally able to start addressing these. They can be reverse mortgages, utility liens, tax liens, solar liens, or even regular mortgages. Utility liens and solar liens generally won't cause a property to go to foreclosure. Property tax liens usually have to be several years behind for that to happen. But banks can foreclose much more quickly if they realize that a property is going to be sold, however, they usually hold off. Number five tip, clearing out the home and hiring a trustworthy estate sales company will lessen the burden of cleaning up the property. They can usually sell off the smaller items in the home and get the right prices for them. Unusual items may need a specialty company. There can also sometimes be a lot of junk on the property that needs to be hauled away. Selling a property without clearing it out can significantly discount the price on the home, but there are also occasions where it's just not possible to clean up the house, usually financial. So we have sold homes with everything in it too. Selling a home in probate or trust is a lot of work. And if you know that you're the administrator for someone in their will or trust, it can be a great idea to talk to them about their wishes before they pass. If you find yourself in a situation here locally or somewhere else, let us know. We're happy to be a resource, and if it's not in our service area, refer you to an experienced probate or trust sale real estate professional in the area where the property is. You can reach us at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thank you so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.